Welcome to live2place.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this edition, we will revise the whole chapter of solutions and its colligative properties. We have tried our best to create a flowchart by interlinking the different topics under this chapter for your easy understanding and grasping. The flowchart includes the wide range of important topics such as types of solutions, different methods used to measure the concentration of solutions, solubility of substances, vapor pressure of solutions, Raoult's law of volatile and non-volatile solutes and colligative properties of solutions etc. Whether it is CBSE board or state board exams, from exam point of view, this is an important chapter from the past year's paper analysis. Questions from this chapter have often been asked worth 5 to 10 marks. As per analysis in both NEET and IIT JE entrance exams, percentage weightage of this chapter is 4.4%. Minimum 2 to 4 questions have been asked from solutions worth 8 marks. Thus, you can do your preparation based on the percentage weightage of the topic. Now, let me start with the term solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. The component which is present in greater quantity is called solvent and the other component present in lesser quantity is called solute in the solution. In case if both components are in equal amount, we identify the solvent by its boiling point in the solution. Under solutions, we will cover up types of solution, how to measure the concentration of solutions and solubility of different substances in a solution. First is types of solutions. In case of binary solutions, solutions have been categorized into three solutions, gaseous solution, liquid solution, solid solution. In gaseous solutions, solvent is always gas and solute can be either solid, liquid or gas. In liquid solutions, solvent is always liquid and solute can be either solid, liquid or gas. And next is solid solutions. In solid solutions, solvent is always solid and solute can be either solid, liquid or gas. There are various methods which are used to measure the concentration of solutions based on the physical states of components such as mass per mass percent, mass per volume percent, volume per volume percent, parts per million, molarity, molality, normality, formality and mole fraction. First is mass per mass percent. It is the mass of solute present in total mass of solution multiplied by 100. It has no unit. Second is mass per volume percent. It is the mass of solute present in 1 liter of solution multiplied by 100. Its unit is grams per liter. Third is volume per volume percent. It is a volume of solute present in total volume of solution multiplied by 100. It has no unit. Fourth is parts per million. It is a mass of solute present in total mass of solution multiplied by 10 to the power 6. It also does not have unit. Fifth is molarity. It is a moles of solute present in 1 liter of solution. Its unit is moles per liter. The molarity of a solution is affected by temperature. Sixth is molality. It is a moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent. Its unit is moles per kilogram. Molality of a solution is not affected by temperature. Seventh is normality. It is gram equivalent weight of solute present in 1 liter of solution. Its unit is gram per liter. 
normality of a solution is affected by the factor temperature next is formality it is a gram formula mass of solute present in 1 liter of solution its unit is gram per liter it is also affected by the factor temperature last one is mole fraction it is a moles of solute present in total moles of components in the solution it has no unit temperature has no effect over the mole fraction of a solution next is strength of a solution it is the amount of solute in grams present in 1 liter of the solution it is gram per liter next is dilution law which is used to calculate the concentration of a dilute solution when the concentration of a solution is diluted by adding some extra solvent then the concentration of dilute solution can be calculated by dilution law let's move on to the solubility of substances it is maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved per 100 g of solvent at a given temperature based on the physical states of the solute solubility of substances in liquid have been categorized into three types solubility of a solid in liquid solubility of liquid in liquid and solubility of gas in liquid first is solubility of solid in liquid based on the solubility of solids in liquid solution has been categorized into three types unsaturated solutions saturated solutions and super saturated solution the basic concept of solubility is based on the fact like dissolves like means polar solute dissolves in polar solvent and non polar solute dissolves in non polar solvent next factor which affect the solubility of solid in liquid is temperature if the solubility of substance in liquids is endothermic the solubility increases with increase in temperature and if solubility of solute in liquid is exothermic the solubility decreases with increase in temperature next is solubility of liquid in liquid based on the solubility of one liquid into another solutions have been categorized into three types miscible immiscible and partially miscible solutions in miscible solution two liquids dissolve completely in each other for example water and alcohol in immiscible solution two liquids do not mix with another for example water and oil and third is partially miscible solution in this solution two liquids dissolve up to a limited extent only for example water and ether when both the liquid components have same boiling points they make azeotropic solutions these solutions boil at constant temperature without undergoing change in their composition these mixtures are of two types minimum boiling azeotropes and maximum boiling azeotropes in the minimum boiling azeotropes solutions has lesser boiling point than either of its two pure liquid components in maximum azeotropes solution has more boiling point than either of its two pure liquid components next is solubility of gas in liquid the solubility of gas in liquid is affected by the factor such as nature of the gas nature of solvent temperature and pressure first is nature of the gas liquefied gases are more soluble in water than any other gases second is nature of solvent gases which form ions in the solvent are more soluble in that solvent third is temperature the solubility of gases decreases with increase in temperature fourth is pressure solubility of gases increases with increase in pressure which is supported by henry's law he states that the solubility of a gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas now let's move on to the vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure is the pressure of the vapor over a liquid at 
equilibrium equilibrium under vapor pressure of solution we will cover up the factors affecting the vapor pressure of solution raoult's law for ideal and non ideal solution raoult's law of volatile and non volatile solute there are some factors which affect the vapor pressure of solution such as purity of liquid nature of the liquid temperature and effect of adding solute first is purity of liquid pure liquid always has a higher vapor pressure than that of its solution second is nature of the liquid vapor pressure of liquid decreases with increase in intermolecular force of attraction third is temperature the vapor pressure of liquid increases with increase in temperature the clausius clapeyron equation gives the relation between temperature and vapor pressure of liquid fourth is effect of adding solution when a volatile solute is added to pure solvent the vapor pressure of the solution increases and when a non volatile solute is added to solvent the vapor pressure of the solution decreases next is raoult's law of ideal solutions if a solution obeys raoult's law over the entire range of concentration and temperature is called an ideal solution assume that an ideal solution is formed by mixing two components a and b according to raoult's law total vapor pressure of solution p is equal to pa plus pb is equal to p not a x a plus p not b x b is equal to p not a plus open bracket p not b minus p not a close bracket x b in the ideal solution interaction between components is always identical next is raoult's law for non ideal solution the solution which do not obey raoult's law over the entire range of concentration and temperature is called non ideal solution pa is not equal to p not a x a and pb is not equal to p not b x b note that non ideal solution shows positive and negative deviation next is raoult's law for solutions with volatile solutes the vapor pressure exerted by the individual component in the solutions is known as partial vapor pressure raoult's law states that the partial pressure of a volatile component in the solution is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure component multiplied by the mole fraction of the component in the solution its formula can be given by p solution is equal to pa plus pb is equal to p not a x a plus p not b x b is equal to p not a plus open bracket p not b minus p not a x b next is raoult's law as a special case of henry's law both laws support the fact that partial pressure of a component in the solution is directly proportional to mole fraction only difference in both laws is proportionality constant if kh becomes equal to p not raoult's law becomes a special case of henry's law next is raoult's law for non volatile solute this law states that the vapor pressure of solution containing non volatile solute is equal to the vapor pressure of pure solvent multiplied by the mole fraction of the solvent p solution is equal to p solvent multiplied by x solvent raoult's law also states that relative lowering of vapor pressure of a solution to pure solvent containing a non volatile solute is equal to mole fraction of solute in the solution open bracket p not minus ps close bracket divided by p not is equal to x for concentrated solution the formula is used as open bra bracket p not minus ps close bracket upon p not is equal to small n upon open bracket capital n plus small n close bracket for dilute solutions the moles of solute are taken as negligible 
in comparison to the moles of solute in the solution. Thus, formula is used open bracket P0 minus PS close bracket upon P0 is equal to small n upon capital N. Now let's move on to the colligative properties of solutions. Colligative properties of solutions depend only on the number of solute particles, not on the nature of the solute such as size, shape, etc. Main colligative properties are relative of lowering vapor pressure of solution, freezing point depression, boiling point elevation, osmotic pressure and wands of factor. First is relative lowering of va vapor pressure of a solution. According to Raoult's law, the relative lowering of vapor pressure of solution to pure solvent is equal to the mole fraction of the solute in the solution. Molar mass of solute can be calculated by relative lowering of vapor pressure of solution. Second is freezing point depression. When a non-volatile solute is added to pure liquid solvent, the freezing point of the solution decreases. Molar mass of a solute can be calculated from freezing point depression. Third is boiling point elevation. When a non-volatile solute is added to a pure liquid solvent, the boiling point of the solution increases. Molar mass of a solute can be calculated from boiling point elevation. Next is osmotic pressure. It is a minimum pressure required to be applied to a solution to stop the inward flow of water across a semi-permeable membrane. Its formula is pi is equal to h dot d dot g is equal to mrt. Last one is wants of factors i. It is a factor which is used to check if a compound dissociates or associates in a solution. If i is greater than 1, solute dissociates. If i is less than 1, solute associates. And if i is equal to 1, solute neither dissociates nor associates. Next is degree of association. It is the fraction of the total substance that undergoes association. Thus, degree of association is the number of moles associated in total number of moles taken. Next is degree of dissociation. It is the fraction of the total substance that undergoes dissociation. Thus, degree of dissociation is number of moles dissociated in total number of moles taken. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IITJE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetutelage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.